everyone. Welcome to the Hania Show. Today, we're talking about everything from DIYs to crafts you do it yourself. Crafty Roo has a wide range of amazing car designs, which are perfect for any occasion. CEO of Crafty Roo is my longtime friend, Shara. I knew Shara from high school. We were in different extracurriculum activities together. And um, Shara has a background in advertising and in marketing. She's currently doing many things. Welcome, Crafty Roo. Hi, Hanya. Thank you so much for having me on your show. Thank you. I, I saw like on Instagram, like, uh, like Crafty Roo and the designs. I had to call you. <laughs> Thank you. So my first question is, how did you begin your journey with Crafty Roo? I've always had a passion for arts and crafts, you know, from making little necklaces to doing some paintings. But I guess the whole Crafty Roo persona or account started a couple years ago when COVID hit. You know, we all had a lot of time on our hands and I had a lot of art supplies. So I started making little birthday cards because a lot of my friends and family, we couldn't get together and celebrate. So I wanted to make their birthday just a little special when we were in such hard times. So I started making these handmade birthday cards and I was getting a lot of compliments on them and people were like, oh my gosh, you should sell these, you should post them. And, you know, craft, crafting is just a passion for me right now, but to turn it into a business would be really awesome. So what I did was I created an Instagram account just to store all of my creations and have a space that people can go and see. I see that's amazing, and that's and that's really amazing. Like how the the COVID uh, the pandemic started, and like how you figured out that no, there's a need for this, and then it suddenly because I see it's trending on on Instagram, and that's why I'm like the car designs there are amazing. <laughs> and I know Crafty uh, Rue Instagram uh, ha Instagram page has amazing car designs. Which car design uh, that you created was your favorite? I, I'm very proud of all of the cards that I've made. Each of them is just so unique to the person that they're being made for. Now, if I had to pick a favorite, I can actually, I'm, I, I can share my screen with you and show. Yeah, yeah. We're just getting on to that part. Okay, hold on. I'll just, <laughs> just uh, yeah, let's. Okay. Yeah, feel free to share your screen. Yeah. And, I, and you could like share like uh, with everyone right now, like um, like your Instagram page and everything. Cause I know I've seen it and I was <laughs> amazed. So it's time for you to share this with everyone. Oh, uh, thank you, Hanya. Well, my page is called Crafty Roo and you know, it's still fairly new, but here's some of the creations that I've made so far. Now to your question, Hanya, if I had to choose a favorite, I would actually go all the way to the beginning, which was the wedding card I had made for my sister. This is kind of what started the whole Crafty Roo page. It was my first, you know, really fancy card. And it just kind of sparked that interest in making cards for people. It's so, amazing. And I see you also did a one with Drake in there. Pardon? You also did one uh, with like Drake in there. Like, it's like a kind of like a silhouette that says 30. Yes, uh, so yeah, this, that's like so creative. <laughs> so this one was a really fun one as well. The person that it was for was a really big Drake fan. So we just took a quote from one of his songs, threw a birthday hat on Drake, and it, it was an absolute success. The person really loved this. You song. know what you should do? You should definitely hashtag Drake and definitely tag tag Drake <laughs> and get Drake to share this on his Instagram account. It works. I know, I know. That would be insane. I also Yeah. And also like you've done like one with Walt Disney, you've done one with the um I think the Queen of Hearts and then like something else and one with hockey. Like they're amazing designs. Yeah, well, what I do is I work with the customers directly to create a card that is in their vision. So for example, this card right here was designed with the intentions of having the all the person's favorite things in the card. So this person really liked Mario, Jonas Brothers, Lady Gaga. So we work together to put a little collage of a card. You see, that's amazing. <laughs> this, 
And over here really liked tigers. So we worked together to put together a tiger card for their birthday. Well, that's just like, I, like this, like this kind of, like these kind of cards. I haven't seen those in like, in like Claritin like cards. Like it looks so original, so much detail, so much hard work into it. Thank you so much, Hanya. And, and this one, um, the one with the guy with the mustache, I think that's a singer too, right? That is Borat. So this one is absolutely, I had so much fun doing the little hair on this one. It was actually a cake topper that someone wanted for their Borat themed party. And just really fun making something so inappropriate but so hilarious at this. You have like pop culture references in here. Like you have the one with Lady Gaga and then you have, um, there's also one with the wrestling, I see. Like, yeah, so that person really liked the classic WWE wrestling. And uh, what's really cool about these cards is that you can give them that extra personal touch. So, for example, this wrestling card, the person that it was designed for, their first name started with an R. So we added an R to the chest. Well, because there's like so many different references, so many uh, different designs, so much creativity in here. Like, it's just amazing. Like, I'm thinking now, if I need a card for any occasion, I would definitely come <laughs> to you. Thank you, Hanya. It is really fun making these cards. And I love seeing the reactions and customer feedback on how everything went when they get their cards. True. And it's just amazing. <laughs> yep. And moving on to my next question. Uh, okay, just give me a minute. No way. Okay, moving on to my next question is, um, Craft You is about occasions and DIYs. What advice would you like to give to someone who is interested in this field? I mean, my best advice is don't be afraid to put yourself out there. I was always self-conscious of my work, and one day I just kind of did it. And it turned into this whole thing where I was making cards, I was making wedding signs, I was making banners for events, you know, they're, I find that people are, your friends and family are very supportive. And if you try something new, you will always have that support. So don't feel like no one's going to be there to support you. No one's going to like your post. You're always going to at least have that one person. And if this is something that you're really passionate about and you really, really enjoy, just do it. You know, life is too short to be doing things that you do not like to do. I agree. And there's always going to be people that are always going to like, uh, there's like some that are going to like it, some that are going to be negative. It's just, you have to figure out a way how to deal with them. Yeah, for sure. True. Because even like as a YouTuber and blogger, like I deal with this every day. So it's like, it's relatable. It's like, no matter what your career is, you'll always find people like that. Yes, then, yeah, that's one of the things I really admire about you is that I remember when you started your blogs, you had maybe like 50 followers and now you're almost at 2,000. That is crazy how well you. you've grown your brand. So yeah, I it just it came for putting yourself out there. Actually, how I started is because it took me years to find a job after college. And then I figured out, okay, like since we were going on family vacations, I, there's like two things I loved a lot that was eating food and that's like uh, going and uh, like, you know, seeing all these places and uh, like, you know, visiting all these different countries. So then I figured out, no, I'm also good with fashion. I'm also good with books because I love reading. So mm -hmm. then that's how I started with uh, Honey Travels blog. At the time, it was just a blog, but then I extended it to a YouTube channel, now with a podcast, now with books, now with my own branding uh, that I do. So it's like, but it's like, it takes time to get there too. But I'm still trying to make it full time at the same time. <laughs> like I think well, we're all trying to do that, right? Like I, turning it in our hobby. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Turning your passion into a full time gig is always the dream, right? <laughs> True. And it's like getting in there. It's like it. Like I reached about two thousand now, but I'm still aiming to get about five thousand because that's because like I'm like I feel like I'm at a, like I'm in the beginning stages of an influencer status, but I want to get into a full time. You know, I believe that you can do it and honestly I am so honored that you had asked me to be on your show it's amazing thank I'm you 
I was just amazed with your work. Like I literally had to tell my mom because my mom's like, okay, that uh, okay, because I think you know my mom, right? Uh, yeah. my fan. So I so we were just so I told her I'm like I just I got connected with you like I think about a few years ago or maybe about a while ago, um, on Instagram and I saw that you had this page. So my mom's like, it's amazing that she might actually come to you for ideas. And I'm like, <laughs> I gotta call you. Like it's, and it's been so long like since we last spoke to each other too it's been i think like almost uh, like i think like it's been like seven eight years pretty much i mean that's what happens when people kind of graduate high school we just become instagram friends and we just like their posts which is pretty much like talking yeah about, right <laughs> there's like so much going on like even on facebook like i think there's like some i do have but it's like it's like it's just like liking pictures that's it yeah <laughs> And Crafty Roo, would you like to share your social media handles? Yes. Uh, so if you if you like my work and you would like to see more of it, you're welcome to add me on Instagram. It's Crafty Roo, C-R-A-F-T-Y dot Roo, R-O-O. And yeah, we can connect. And if you have any custom creations that you would like to be made for a loved one, always happy to make that vision come true. Okay, thank you. And hopefully you'll see in, in the video and in the description below, Kathy will be, uh, the social media handle will be there. Also, make sure you watch and subscribe to Hanya Travels. And thank you everyone for watching the Hanya Show. Bye. Bye.